Hello music fans, welcome back to another episode of my What's New 2023 segment where I talk about albums that came out over the past week in metal, rock, and prog. Today I'm going to talk about five new albums that came out on May 26th, and I'll talk about them in my order of preference, starting with Seven in Pale and their album Summit. This is progressive rock with jazz and metal influences. It's the third album by this Norwegian band. If you're a fan of bands like Triosscapes, Thank You Scientist, The Mars Volta, and King Crimson, I think you'll like this. There's a lot of cool horns on this album, and it's very quirky. The last song is a 13-minute progressive epic called Sisyphus. My favorite track on the album is Hydra, and Icaros is a close second. The whole album is just four tracks, though, and all the tracks are great. Next, I'll mention... SUP and their album Okta. This is avant garde progressive metal with gothic, industrial, doom, and death metal influences. It's the eighth album by this French band. I've never listened to a full album by them before this, but it's avant garde prog metal, so I had to check it out. And they are all over the place genre wise. It's like if you're a fan of Devin Townsend and how he does every kind of style you might like this and maybe like weird bands like Mr. Bungle but it's got more influence from death metal than Devin Townsend and Mr. Bungle uh, they have some songs that are pretty brutal uh, that have a lot of harsh vocals but they have other moments that are actually pretty catchy and have clean vocals and are pretty accessible so quite the mix and range on this one Next, I'll talk about God Sticks and their album, This Is What a Winner Looks Like. This is progressive metal. It's the sixth album from this band from the UK. Again, I never heard any album by this band before, but I heard the single, If I Don't Take It All, and that got me interested. Uh, thanks to Nation, Nathan on Shuffle's channel for uh, putting that single on my radar. I ended up checking out this album and really enjoyed it. The band sounds like some of the original classic progressive metal bands like Fate's Warning and Queensryche, but with more modern progressive metal and gent rhythms. Uh, but they don't have that low tuned seven string guitar sound, so it's kind of nice to not hear that kind of genty sound. Uh, but it has some of that syncopation of gent uh, but the guitar tones more like bands like Alter Bridge or Creed or bands from the new metal genre like Slipknot or System of a Down. Interesting sound, well written, well played, but likely won't make my year end top 40 or 50 list. Next, I'll talk about Arrival of Autumn with their album Kingdom Undone. This is the third album by this Canadian band. I never heard anything by them before, but I heard the single Scars and decided to give them a chance because they're fellow Canadians. I try to listen to all the best metalcore releases, even though uh, my interests have kind of moved past that sound more into progressive rock and metal over the past couple decades. But this is a really solid metalcore album. It's heavily inspired by those old school Swedish melodic death metal style guitar riffs and a lot of the guitar playing and soloing reminds me of melodic death metal bands. If you're a fan of bands like Trivium, In Flames, At The Gates, um, I want to hear a band that sounds like that, but that leans more towards metalcore and has more breakdowns. This could be a good album for you, so check out Arrival of Autumn. And lastly, I want to talk about Elegant Weapons and their album Horns for a Halo. This is the debut album by this metal supergroup that features bassist Rex Brown of Pantera, guitarist Richie Faulkner and drummer Scott Travis, both from Judas Priest, and vocalist Ronnie Romero of Rainbow. It's very solid, traditional sounding heavy metal. Nothing too special or fancy or exciting and new here, but very well executed by experienced professionals. It's like a less progressive version of Symphony X. The vocals are like a mix between uh, Tim Ripper Owens, Ronnie James Dio, and Russell Allen. The guitar solos are reminiscent of classic Megadeth solos. The vocal melodies are very catchy. If you're a fan of bands like Judas Priest, Dio, Rainbow, Symphony X, and Megadeth, you'll like this. It sounds like a mixture of those bands. 
And that's it for the new stuff that I checked out over the past week. If you found something on here that you enjoy, uh, let me know what you think of these albums. And let me know if I missed anything in the comments below. Until next time, peace out.